Hey guys! Okay, so I'm back with the true or false results. And if you saw the video, um, the, true, the first true or false video, I introduced all the products that I was going to test to see whether the claims were true or false. And if you didn't see that video, I'll attach it below so that you can watch it. You can pause this one, open another tab, watch that one, and then come back and see the results if you like. Let's start with eyeliners. Okay, this eyeliner, L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Eyeliner. Now, it claims to be waterproof. Let me see, let me find the package. Waterproof. Um, it's a really nice eyeliner. I like the wand. Um, the felt tip is fairly flexible. The only thing with this formula is that when it dries it's almost like a nail polish in a way where it can kind of peel off so let's say you put your eyeliner on and maybe you like to go back like sometimes I do with some makeup remover and kind of clean off maybe where you didn't get it exactly right or you're trying to make them even you cannot do that with this eyeliner. You have to get it on perfectly the first time that you do it because you can't wipe it away. If you try to wipe it away, a whole chunk comes off of it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's this eyeliner. So, if you can get your eyeliner perfect the first time, then you'll like this. If not, um, it does stay on. If you're just going to do a line right on the lash line and you're not winging it up or doing anything like that, um, it would be good. So, um, in the lower lash line, this would be good. Uh, but yeah, I didn't like the consistency or the texture of it that much. So that's that one. This one is the Physician's Formula Eye Definer Felt Tip and um, ultra easy to apply and remove liquid eyeliner pen, smudge proof, smear proof, fade proof, fool proof. 24 hour wear. Okay. So this is the this is the tip. It's a felt tip. And it's very hard and very dry. This ultra easy to apply is untrue. <laughs> false. Very false. Um hardly any product comes out. You have to press and press and press on your eye to get product to come out and then you still can't get it like opaque or I mean it's just terrible, terrible eyeliner. Um, it does stay on and it is waterproof and smudge proof and all that stuff but um, it's impossible to get it on. This is absolute waste of money. I would definitely not buy this again and the claims are false. That one irritated me. As you can tell. Okay, and this was the Super Fat Eye Marker from NYX, and this is really cool. It you real you can get a thin line out of it, but it's much easier to do a thick fat line. It is not water resistant. Um, it's not really smudge proof either, but um, it's really black. It's very easy to use, and you can get a really nice thick um, black line with a pretty wing. And the packaging is not all that great. It's kind of awkward, this big fat pen to kind of do that with, but it's not that difficult. Um, I really like this, easy to use, um, other than the awkwardness of the the size of the, you know, package. Okay, the next eyeliner is CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights. Looks like so. And it is a twist up eyeliner. And this is supposed to make your eyes brighter. And if you swatch it on your hand, it's got like, and then you kind of rub it a little bit, you can see a faint shimmer, like almost like a peachy toned shimmer to it. I don't even know if you can. Anyway, I think that's what um, they are claiming makes your eyes brighter. Now, 
when you put it on, if you were to put it on and shear it out, you might be able to see that shimmer and it might have that effect. But if you put it on and kind of layer it a little bit to get it thicker and to make it really black, you're not going to see any of that because it just, it's going to cover that shimmer up and it's really not going to shimmer or make your eyes brighter. But I will say that um, this eyeliner does not move. It stays put, it doesn't smudge or transfer, and it claims that um, it doesn't even have any of those claims on here. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Color will set to smudge proof and water resistant wear for hours. Creamy formula allows for smooth application, won't tug or skip. You have to tug it just a little bit, but not much. It is pretty smooth. Um, helps brighten your eyes all day with an eight hour formula. So the brightening part, not so much, but um, it doesn't tug or skip. It's really nice. It's very black. It works on your waterline and it stays on your waterline. I think it stayed on my waterline for about four hours and then I needed to apply right at the corner in the inside of my eye, but it was still on the waterline. It didn't come off completely. I just had to, you know, touch it up after about four or five hours. So this is a really, really good pencil water resistant eyeliner and they have it in other colors as well. The brightening effect not so much but everything else they said was true. Brightening false. Okay moving on to the mascaras. Alright I'll start with my favorite. This is the Tarte mascara and it claimed something crazy if I remember. Yeah 424 percent lash increases lash volume by 424 percent and I was didn't even know what the heck that meant. Um, it's called Lights Camera Lights Camera Lashes is the name of the mascara. Yeah, I can tell you this mascara definitely absolutely increases the volume of your lashes. It absolutely increases the length. It doesn't say anything on here about the length, but and I also felt that it curled too. It really my lashes really stood up and looked a lot longer. Um, awesome, awesome mascara, definitely worth the money. Um, this one is definitely true. 424%, I don't know what the heck that means, but if we just took that out and increases lash volume, that is true. I really like this mascara, awesome mascara. Let's see, um, the Lycra Lash Extender by Rimmel. This one claimed 60% longer, 50% more curl. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is actually a pretty good mascara too. Uh, of course, you all know that I kind of bend my wands a little bit so that I can push my lashes up. And um, it's a nice creamy formula, very wet, not clumpy at all. It does uh, definitely extend your lashes. The curling part, um, or the curve, I really didn't see much of a curve. So um, the extender, the lash extender, definitely true. The curve, false. Really nice mascara though, I like this mascara. Um, also, the Rimmel Sexy Curve mascara. Uh, let's see what it claims. Up to 70% curlier lashes and voluptuous volume. Um, I really like the wand, it's one of those um, plastic wands with the you know really firm teeth and it's got like little bumps in it and I kind of like that because you can kind of get um, these inner corner lashes and the outer corner lashes just using the tip that's kind of cool about it and um, it really is a nice mascara also it does um, give you a lot more volume and a little bit of length but the curving part yeah I don't know what kind of formula or what they put in here that they think it's gonna you know make your lashes curve or be more curlier but um, yeah it was just like any other mascara as far as that goes um, but very good mascara nevertheless um, none of the mascaras really smudged on me or transferred to the top of my lid which was nice because I have some that really do none of these did that I didn't wear false eyelashes with them or anything I wore them on their own and I was very impressed with all three the only thing um, that these two claimed to do that I didn't think they did that much was to curve. 
so yeah but great mascaras I can't say anything bad about those those three I definitely repurchase uh, let's see lip stain uh, this is the outlast lip stain um, I did not care for this color it had nothing to do with the color that it says it was on the um, the kiosk where I got it it goes on fine you get it plenty of product on your lip it, uh, it lasted for a couple of hours it did not last 16 hours like it claimed although I think the color of this had a lot to do with me not liking it um, but it definitely didn't last as long as it claims to last or that you would expect a lip stain to last so I have to say false on this one right here false 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 advertising in terms of the color and the name and false um, 16 hour wear yeah no Okay, Milani. These are the HD Advanced Concealers, Clip, Cover, Correct, and Protect. And it didn't say it on the packaging, but at the kiosk it said that it's supposed to brighten and diffuse fine lines. I guess it's supposed to kind of mimic the Touche Clot, um, Touche Clot by YSL. And it doesn't even come close to that. That's amazing, um, the Touche Clot. But, uh, I got a medium and a medium dark because when I did the medium I thought maybe it was a little too dark. You know when you use the Touche Clot you use a really light color and so it does brighten and you can use a lot a lighter color than you're normally using in concealer. So I thought maybe it was the same here so I went back and got the lighter one and um, it doesn't really, it has a pink undertone which is good for under your eyes. You probably wouldn't use it to hide blemishes or anything on your face. Um, it was a little bit dry, the formula, so um, I thought it really, it showed my wrinkles and lines a lot more than it diffused it because it was so dry under my eye. Um, yeah, so I'd have to say false on this one. Um, and it says eye and face. Well, it's really not that good for your face cause unless you have a pink undertone. If you're like an NW, you have a pink undertone, this would be fine for your face. Um, if you don't, if you're an NC, you have a yellow undertone, you're not going to be able to really use these on your face. They're strictly for under your eye. And um, I really like the packaging. I like how it clicks. Um, it took forever to click to get the product to finally come out, but once it did, it's fine. It goes on fine. Um, all of those things, the packaging, again, it's nice. I have no problem with that, but it really didn't cover dark circles it really wouldn't work for you for covering dark circles and it definitely doesn't brighten or diffuse lines so false I have to say on that okay the last product is the Revlon color stay active light makeup and when I got this I got the wrong color it's too light for me so I went back and this is medium beige I went back to get a darker one they didn't have it they didn't even have this product anymore I went everywhere drugstore um, grocery store Ulta n nobody had this I'm not sure if they're discontinuing this formula or what but I couldn't find it and um, so I went ahead and used this one and I just did it one day on my day off because I didn't want to look like a you know freak but um, it did stay on pretty good it did start to separate a little bit around my nose but Again, it's like a hundred and it was like a hundred and five degrees that day. It's super, super hot. I was running around errands, sweating a whole lot, and um, I didn't set it with powder or anything like that. And it did separate a little bit on my nose, not too much. Um, it really is not that much coverage. It's I'd have to consider it um, more like a a tinted moisturizer, although it's not very moisturizing. It was kind of dry on my skin, so. It, which has a lot to do with you know it staying on I think some of the products that are long wearing sometimes tend to be drying on the skin so if you have dry skin this probably would not be for you if you have oily skin you could probably use it but it may separate on you a little bit looks and feels fresh applied freshly applied all day false weightless sweatproof light coverage sorta of true except for the sweat proof um, apply prior to sun exposure yeah that's fine so it's got the SPF 25 in it 
um, and I didn't seem to burn or anything on my face while I had it on so I guess the SPF works anyway so yeah that's my conclusion on this one anyway so I hope that you enjoyed this series and I'm gonna be filming another video with a new group of products that we are going to see if the claims are true or false thanks so much for watching bye